What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys part 23 for my playthrough on Animal Crossing New Horizons. So guys, in the last video, we actually rescued Gulliver, got his communicative parts, and finished up our ravine by planting our peach trees and our flowers. And in today's video, we got CJ on the island, so we're going to be doing his little 20 side quest and selling all of our fish. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much. I saw CJ when I was just checking out my island for the morning, just seeing what's going on so I can plan out what I wanted to do for today's video. I was like, oh my god, let's go. Finally, we got CJ on the island. I got mad fish for this dude. I'm actually going to craft another shovel because I feel like my one, the one I have is actually going to break. So, might as well just do it now. Save me some time. Also, what else do I want to do for today's video? I kind of want to uh, do some things in the front main area in front of the wrestling hall, like decorate there. And I definitely got to check my turner prices and do my daily deeds, like get my fossils, hit my rocks, all that good stuff. But yo, main part about today, you guys already know what's going on. We're selling all of our big fish to CJ and making some sh money, making some sh money. But I'm going to head down here. I got to go check my turner prices right off the rip. Let's see. This morning, they were only like 72. I was like, bro, 72. That's it. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. My turner prices have been low, but I have been keeping up with them. You guys did not know there's like a little app or a website for turn up calculator you just put your prices in that you got every single morning and p.m and eventually it will tell you the best time to actually sell them let's see my turn up price right now if they're high that'd be insane 68 what you mean they're so low but you start my uh, turn up calculator calculators actually starting to uh, figure out where my best day to, get to sell it is and right now it's in between thursday and friday so i think if i get if i put this one in the calculator it's actually gonna give me like a prime time of when to do it like either friday p.m friday a.m thursday p.m thursday a.m so that's gonna be dope that is gonna be dope i'm gonna bring out my shovel first and foremost to get started here i know there's a rock over here well i need sticks i do need sticks i know where cj's at he's all the way up top of my island all the way up top but we don't grab these bells get the thousand bells i'm gonna plant should i plant more in there no no, 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 we're not. Because look at all these bells I have. <laughs> I got to put some away in the ABD for sure, for sure. But I'm going to just throw a nice little uh, 11,000 bells in here just to get growing. Get in there. Bury that in the hole. You ski, baby. Slap that up. All right, let's go over here. What we got? What we got? Ooh, my bell tree's right here. And I know there's a rock here too. So hopefully it's money rock. We'll do the rock first and then we'll get the, we'll get the bell tree up and rolling. I cannot scoop over here. This rock's such a pain in the neck here. It really is. It's really like the worst rock on my island. <laughs> it's so bad. Hit that. Bang. And actually, yesterday on my stream, I called a cold camp, a Mahi Mahi, and a Red Snapper. So there's a, already like 40,000 bells straight to CJ right there. And then I have like a couple other cold cans and all different uh, good old fish in my storage. Like just in cold cans, I probably have over $100,000 just in cold cans. Because I think I have uh, four or five of those, which is insane. That's a lot of cold cans. But there we go. Kick up that dirt from the rock. I'm going to switch out my item. Just bring out my, I guess, my net right here. I'm going to slap this up. But daily deeds always come first. You guys know the deal. Here's that. How much is this? 10,000? The 10,000 bells. These are 10,000 bells. Um, which way do I want to go now? I'm going to make the big old loop-de-loop. -loop. I'm going to make the big old loop-de-loop. -loop. I'm going to check over here. I want to show off this ravine right here. I might have to chop down some trees. But yo, it's looking beautiful. The flowers are almost done growing. The trees are getting there. <gasps> and this tree will not grow there. That is going to be a pain. That is going to be a pain. I might have to, uh, Either rearrange the trees or just get a tree and then just plant it there. Because these ones won't grow either. So I got to do that for that too. But there's a tiger butterfly. And a fossil. And a fossil. No more eggs, yo. Thank God. I just thought I was going to pull up an egg. That was so long ago. But still, you guys know how annoying that was when you pulled up eggs. You're like, bruh, why are there eggs in this game? Like, get them out of here. <laughs> but let's keep going here. I'm going to actually make a left here. Or is there any in my in my, uh, my orchard? I don't think there's any. We're going to pull over here. I got to build a bridge here. We might actually do that today. We might actually do that today, considering with our, uh, what's it called, money? What money is it? The money that we get from CJ? That could be pretty good, because we're going to get a lot of money. We need a lot of money. Got to put some away into ABD before I even do it. But we'll hit up this rock right here. And I kind of want to change the flowers on that little uh, waterfall right to our left. You guys can just see the yellow flower. I feel like yellow and white don't really go too well on my island. I feel like red. I feel like red's always looking good. Maybe red and white. That's what I planted for the ravine. We got red and white roses. Mm, mm, always looking spiffy. Or like the pink. The pink always looks good as well. Yeah, I'm almost at the point where I just want to start rearranging my houses and putting them in, like, a really good position. That could be dope. That could be dope. Another fossil. Pick that one up. I think I almost have all the fossils, too. And, yo, guys, I got to show you what's in the museum. Because I changed up the rock garden. You guys might have just saw it real quick as I was digging up the fossil. But I put a dinosaur there. I put a dinosaur there, and it looks type nice. Did I do that in the last episode, actually? Or did I do it on stream? I don't know. I think I did it on stream, to be honest with you guys. I'm pretty sure I did it on stream, so you guys will actually get to see it for the first time unless you were at my stream. I'm going to head over here right to the ABD real quick, cash in my money because I have like 140000 just chilling there. But, yo, my turn up prices need to shoot up. I got a million bells worth of turn ups, and I'm ready to sell them. I am so ready to sell them. But there we go. 
to the ABD. We're up to like 9,000, which isn't bad. Oh, we're back to day one. I didn't check it yesterday, bruh. I thought I checked it yesterday. I was playing for a good bit yesterday. Dang it, man. But I have a lot of scorpions saved up. I caught 26 scorpions in one night. It was awesome. We were rocking out. Uh, do I just sell full amount? Yeah, I'm just going to sell full amount here. Consider I'm just going to get way more back. We'll probably be, actually have enough to pay off for home loan. That could be dope. That could be dope. But I've been waiting for a good couple weeks, but I haven't really been grinding. Like, the first week, I grinded out fish. I got a good amount. And then the second week, I really kind of didn't really focus on fish. I didn't really do it too, too much. But we still have a decent amount of fish to sell to young boy CJ. Annabelle Thor, how you guys doing? And uh, what's it called? Who's his name? Uh, Rattles. With the Rona virus. But that's why he's got a mask. But boom, we got a Prezi. I love, I love Annabelle. Annabelle's always giving me good stuff. I love it. She's just like, boom, Prezi. Here you go. Take it up. <laughs> Cracks me up. Yo, thank you, Annabelle. We got a striped t-shirt. You love to see it. You love to see it. All right, let's keep getting our schmoo on. Looking for our rocks and our fossils. I mean, this here's all of our rocks. This is what's so good about this. All of our rocks just chill in, like, one spot. I see a fossil right up there, which is nice as well. But I'll get this. Where's my money rock at, baby? Give me my money rock. Where's it at, baby? Where's it at? <laughs> but, dude, I love facing off on scorpions. Definitely a night video coming soon. I know I've been saying that, but, yeah, I definitely want to do one soon. Maybe show off Wisp or uh, Celeste, do like a shooting star thing, and uh, hunt scorpions, because that's so much fun. That is so much fun hunting scorpions, because like I just love going up against them, because they just give you the, the stare, and they act like they're going to sting you. And I just get in, like, to, in a fight with them, like, what's good? What you want, bro? <laughs> then I just catch them. It's pretty funny, in my eyes. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> But yeah, I like that. I haven't actually found like scorpion or tarantula island just yet like the actual island But you're able to make some like bamboo island actually works pretty well It only takes me like an hour maybe to fill up on tarantulas Which is a bit after the patch because now you can't put uh, fences on the rocks and You used to be able to put fences on the rocks and have them spawn like one every like less than a minute It was insane. It was insane. I didn't actually get a chance to do that But I just saw it online, which is pretty dope, but there we go We found our shmoney rock. We found our money bunny rock and uh, can I corner myself in here? I'm actually dig right here. Yeah, I can corner myself with this tree and hit up the last rock. Is this the last rock? We hit one there. Hmm, we hit one there. We hit one over there. That's no, there should be one more rock on island, but I'm not going to be too worried about it because it's not our money rock. It's not our money rock, so I'm fine. I can always get it later if I really want to. What I'm really worried about is these fossils now, baby. These fossils. And I got a catfish in my inventory as well. New fish alert, baby. New fish. Let's see it. There it is, the catfish. I'll show it off to you guys. Show it off. -da -da. Look at that thing. Yeah. <laughs> catfish. <laughs> yeah, we caught that. That's a pond after 4 p.m. 4 p.m. till 9 p.m. Category 4 in the pond. So we caught him and on my stream, and it was awesome. Speaking of stream, you guys already know the deal. If you want to check out my stream, head and link in the description below. You guys should definitely come hang out. It's tons of fun. Yo, we have a blast over on the stream. Do viewer battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Do viewer tournaments for Sword and Shield. Do viewer activities for Animal Crossing. Like, everyone comes hang out on the island. It's definitely tons of fun. Hope to catch you guys there. But let's go. Bum, bum, bum. I just want to go check up the upstairs real quick. Julia! Hi, Julia. Yo, look at Julia. She's adorable. Just sitting there, having a grand old time. Taking everything in. Taking everything in. But before I actually go uh, assess the fossils, I'm going to head up to the the upper path, see if we got any fossils over there. And I'm pretty sure, like, I'm almost positive CJ's over there. I saw him this morning. I saw him just chilling there. He better not have left my island. I'll be so mad. But no, I'm almost positive he can never leave. Well, no, he'll leave the island for the day. He'll, he'll be on here for the whole day. Let's run up here. Anything in here? Look for fossils inside the, the orchard. And I got an itch on my ear. Like, what you mean? <laughs> That's the worst, yo. When you get it inside your headphones, you're like, bro, get it off of me. Get it off of me. But yeah, CJ should be up there. I'm just gonna look right here, and then I'm gonna pop up over with the, using the ladder. Right here, yo. But I'm loving that waterfall. Again, I just need to make it make a way to for it to flow very, very nice. But let's get running this way. I'm gonna go around this way. There's a fossil. I knew it. I knew there could be a fossil up here. Give me that. See it over here? It's over at these red flowers. Come here. Come here. Where's that fossil? At? Come here, boy. Lap that up. Um, should I find out CJ's quest just now? Yeah, I'm gonna talk to CJ right now if he's up here. Unless he moved, unless he moved. But I'm pretty sure he's just chilling up here. Somewhere over here. He at the workout gym. My crusty little workout gym. Bro, where's my boy at? I know there he is. Okay, I was going to say, I know he's up here. I know he's up here. But yeah, I'm going to definitely talk to him right now. Because you have to do your actually fishing tournament quest in order to unlock being able to sell things to him. TJ here coming at you. Um, Well, it's more likely standing. But you, I guess, nyuck nyuck. <laughs> Anyway, ever since I started doing my sea sport challenge, I've been trending in a huge way. It's so slick. Each time someone navigates a challenge, I offer to buy up their fish. I even pay premium. I only offer to buy after a challenge, though. Keeps it interesting. Nyuk. But everyone's aboard. I get way flesh fish. <laughs> Wait, what? I get way 
fresh fish for my live stream and the lucky anglers get showered in bells that is awesome dude i love his uh, style of talking it's so funny so what he's talking about is you have to do a challenge and then you'll be able to sell sell fish to him so it's like uh like flick you just talk to him you sell fish like this is or you talk to him you could just sell bugs for the one point times five or 1.5 times the normal price him you have to do a challenge in order to get the 1.5 times for fish but you got a sea sport challenge my dude you got a chump time to dive in and school this challenge nook all right today i want you to catch three big time fish in a row all about the size of the squid okay so category three that's not really that big but sure you got it and critters like soft shell turtles or snapper turtles also count too okay so categories uh three and above i'm gonna say three and above there's one just chilling in that pond that might be a three Okay, so once we do that, I just want to grab the quest now before I actually go assess the fossil and all everything so I can have it. Oh, that's a two right there. Just so I have it and am able to do it and then come back, talk to him, and sell everything I got. Just rack up that money. I'm going to head down here, check the beach for any threes right now, and then we'll go over to Blathies. Go over to Blathers. We're just, we're just racking in things. We're just killing two birds with one stone here. And we'll go talk to Blathers and get work done from there. Oh, a DIY bottle. What is that? Is that a tiger butterfly? Yeah, it is. That's crusty doo doo butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over here. What we got? What we got? There's two right there. I'm looking for the biggin, Joe. I gotta catch CJ some biggins. There's one. Come on, show me a mahi mahi. Is that a six? Nah, that's not a six. That's not a six. Show me a mahi mahi. That could be so nice because I could sell it to him. Dude, that's looking actually rather a little bit bigger. Like, I can see it being a five, but I can also see it being a six. But the only six I can catch is an oarfish. It is a six. Oh my lord. It is. It's an oarfish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a way to start off the fishing right here. That's number one for our big time fish and I can sell it to CJ, bro Just a six off the pier. Oh My lord, yo, give me that. Give me that. Yo, get off me. That is what's up. Yo, just an easy six just like that Bruh, I am a fishing legend. I am a fishing legend. Let's get it All right, let's go ahead and reply this, but I'm gonna definitely sell to him because they're normally 8,000 So with CJ, it's gonna be 12,000 bells. Look at this. I got a dinosaur here, Stegosaurus, making this look way better than it normally is. And let's get it here. I haven't had Red on my island yet. I had Red on my island only for the quest, but he never actually showed up on his own terms. So I'm hoping maybe we can get him in the next recording. That could be pretty dope. But I almost have all the fossils. I feel like I almost have all the fossils because I donated like 12 yesterday and I'm stacked up and he had none of them. Like, bro, I gotta be pretty close. But yo, Bladdy's, assess my fossils. Let's get it. Ooh, what would you like me to assess? I'm all a flutter. Let's get it. Look at that. I got Mahi Mahi. And I got to donate that, uh, that what's called right now. The catfish. Just so I can have extra space. Well, the one I see. Let's see a closer look. Yes, indeed. Quite splendid. Alas, our museum already has all such these fossils. Boo! I might just start selling them. I have tons of fossils to actually sell. Maybe stuff that I don't want. Or maybe stuff I can't make into a dinosaur. But I've definitely been uh, saving them up in order to make dinosaurs. That's why we got the Stegosaurus out there. But let's give out the catfish. He sells for like nothing. He's like, I think 800. So there you go. Just take him. Here you go. Put him in my museum. Dude, I cannot wait for to have my museum done. And especially because next month. Next month is going to be phenomenal. Like the bugs, all really good bugs are going to be spawning. The fish are phenomenal. The fish are phenomenal. We're going to have sharks that sell for over 10,000, most of them. And then we have these river fish that sell for once 10 and once 12. Like it is going to be such a good time for CJ to come to the island. And, uh for everybody to actually farm fishing it's gonna just be amazing let's roll out here like i said i gotta catch the other fish and should i just stack up on fish right now no i think we'll catch fish first so we need category three or above so i need two more i need two more fishy poos i'm gonna actually bring out my rod come on baby we got one or fish that was sick dude that was sick i saw i was like wait a minute this could totally be a six this could totally be a six this is definitely a five so i don't even know what i want it to be i'm just gonna catch it just for the the challenge then I could sell it to CJ. Or not. Or should I sell it to CJ? Yeah, I actually could just sell it to CJ. I will get more money for it. But I kind of just want to sell it to the, the shop. And I guess it's right there. Just so I can stack up. And just make one big sale. So one more big fish. One more big, big fish. That's all we need. Where they at? Where the fishies at? No. Come here. Where they at? We need one more. Not lurking over here. Hmm. I'm not playing games, yo. I'm not playing games. Yo, he's, he's looking at a lollipop, yo. My boy Rattle's just chilling there. Let's go, Rattle. Eating up a lollipop. All right, let's head back this way. I'm not trying to pull boat across. I really am not. Just spawn me another ore fish. That could be so dope. We call it, that's only category six out in May. Like, May is a slow fishing time. 
It really is. Until and then next month just takes like a skyrocket up. So it's like, okay, we'll take a month off in order to get this high reward of all these sharks and everything coming onto the island. But nothing's spawning right here. I'm gonna hop over. Hop over one more fish, yo. I need one more fish. I think I need to bring the fish to him, so I'm actually just hold on to whatever fish we get. I can just sell it to him. It's really not a bit. Come here. No fish on this side, yo. Are you bro? What's going on? What is going on here? I think like we're gonna head all the way over to this other side. I ain't playing around. Oh, I'm not playing around. I can catch a category four in the water or in the river too. That's fine. Come on, what you got for us? Dude, no biggins out. No biggins out. Like usually the, the sea basses and the olive flounders are out the buns, but not today. Or the regular bass are usually out as well. But not today. Not when I need them, you know? <laughs> Let's go check the pier again. It's, you know, you, you can catch big boy. Off the pier. Nope, nothing on the pier. Did, like, all my fish stop spawning? I don't see any fish. Like, not even one just chilling in the ocean. What is going on? I am so confused. <laughs> There's not one fish in the ocean. Okay, here's one. That's a three, and he said uh, squid, so I'm going to catch it. I'm going to catch it. I'm going to catch it. Yeah, this should be good. Show me a Barrett knife jaw. That could be awesome because I can sell them. Let's see what we got. Show it to me, baby. What we got? A zebra turkey fish. This should count as a uh, thirty one. I call it zebra turkey fish. And their water maker. That's three big time fish. Let's go. Which means you complete the challenge. Yes, sir. I can now just pull out my ladder because it's right here. Well, boom, yo. We got CJ on the island. I'm hype. I'm so hyped for that. Come here. Where's he at? Where's he at? He should be right here. CJ, what's good? What's up, fishinista? Picked a name for your angler sona yet nook what you caught three big time fish in a row already heck yeah yo we an expert we don't mess around but there we go we complete your sea sport challenge now let me sell my fish to you and look at them taking selfies with us want to sell any of those fish because i want to buy i got bells for nautical miles so so chime on okay so i'm just gonna sell the little fish right now because i want to make a big sale so we're gonna sell that that and we're gonna keep the rest. We're gonna keep the rest. I'm gonna go throw some things in my storage. Learn that DIY recipe. I just wanna sell these two right now. Cause like I said, I wanna get all my big fish and see how much we can get in just one go. Yo, that that's actually not bad. 1,350 for both of them. Usually you get like doo doo. Usually you're like not even in the thousands. So like dude, CJ's just coming up clutch. Okay. So let me learn this DIY recipe. Actually to open up a spot. Open that up. What is this one? An iron wood load table. I already know this recipe, so I'm just gonna actually drop it on the ground near my house. Let's go. I gotta go all the way around. Oh my god, dude, the ravine's doing me dirty. And there's another fossil there. I didn't even notice that. But we'll get that later. Right now, our main focus is CJ, bro. Our main focus is CJ. At first, I kind of just want to uh, decorate that front island. Maybe make some hedges. I think that could be pretty cool. Head down here. My turnip prices are terrible. But that's good. I don't care. We got CJ on the island today, so I'm stoked either way. The waterfall's looking amazing. You know, that little ravine, like, bruh. Come on, yo. Come on. All right, so I want to drop this DIY recipe. I hate how you can't put them in storages. I hate how you can't put them in storage. Um, I actually might drop all my tools here just to make one big run with this thing. I'm going to drop all my tools just outside here. Let's go uh, drop item. I'm going to keep my ladder, though. We're going to drop these. Just drop everything. I'll be back to pick them up. I'll be back to pick them up. I just want to make one big old big run for it, you know? Drop this. I can just actually double press A here for the materials. So what else am I going to need? A lot of these things, some things are going to go in storage. We'll drop the wood. Don't we'll come over here. Oh, yes, sir. Yo, I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I just want to see how much money I can just definitely get from here. Uh, do I want to drop the shovel? Yes, I want to drop the shovel. I just want to keep the ladder. That's probably the only thing I want to keep. Drop that. So I'll be back for everything. Or I can take the long way and get an extra slot out here. But everything else I want to put in storage. Yeah, we're chilling. And then a lot of everything else I want to sell. Just to see. Okay. We're racking up our inventory. I think we're going to maybe hit half a mil. I think we might hit half a mil in just one sale. I think we might have to make two trips to this boy. We'll see in just a second. I actually have to put things away first, such as you. Go put in storage. Go put in storage. Comes when we get out of here. What is that? A jar of Maya? What? What do you mean? I clear a skull and an amber. And then I can put away the striped tea. And now we go into our storage. Yo, I cannot wait to get all these fish. Give me my fishy boots. Give me my fishy boys. We're going to go down to the bottom where rare fish is. We got... Four cola cans, including the one in my inventory. Oh my god. Just take out the rare fish first. So that's 15,000 each. Barrel eye, 15,000. So they're 22,500 for each $15,000 fish. We got three marlins, five tunas. Oh my lord. Barrett knife charles are 5,000. So I'd rather take out the rare ones first. Snappers are 3,000 normally. Let's get it. Move that. Move that. The snappers are nice to keep though. Do I have my barrets up here? We do have my barrets. Come here, barrets. 
Rats are 5,000. Koi's are 4,000, so I'll take the Koi's out next. And then I think Betas are 2,500. Here's more Barrett's. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, yeah, two trips about. Koi's come out. I sell more space. And then these will come out next. The Snappers. The Snoop Noops. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. We actually, we're doing a lot here. I might just do this other one all my own time and just make one sale. Yeah, let's just do one sale. That's awesome. Or I could just save that for next year. No, we, why would I save it for next year? But look at all these scorpions right here. We are rocking out with scorpions. Like, Flick's got to come to my island ASAP. But, bro, we're going to be making some bank off this one thing. I'm telling you, I think it's going to be half a million. It's going to be pushing it. Let's see. Let's see my inventory right now. Jeez, yo. Jeez. I got to take a picture of that. Give me that. <laughs> look at that. That looks so sick. That looks so sick. Come on. Give it to me. I don't even know why I just took a picture of it, considering I have all this on recording. Oh, there's one of those big dragon finds. I wish I could catch them right now. They're 4,500. Those things are just always looking good. But to CJ, let's get it. Let's get it. I'm going to hop up here and run around the outside. Get it. Actually, I can just uh, climb up this side. See, ladder, if you have a ladder in your hand, it just makes things easier. But if you don't, then it's so much better to just uh, run around and do your bridges and all that. But come here, buddy. Yo, CJ, I got some fish for you. You're not going to believe it. You're not going to believe it. Let's see it. Buy my fish, yo. Buy these fish. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I've been waiting for this. Big shmoney. Big shmoney. See you later, fishies. Before I even hit the button, let me know in the comment section down below real quick. Your guess. How much is it going to be? My guess on the dot is going to be... I'm trying to think real quick. Probably, I'm going to say... I said close to half a million. So I'm going to say 468,000 bells. 468,000 bells. Let's get it. Let's go. 468. Let's see how much I got. Now I'm going to be sad if it's not. Okay, 400,000. Okay, so mine wasn't too far off. Jeez. Sell that. That was enormous. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Almost half a mil. I probably could could get half a mil if I get all my other fish. That was awesome. That was awesome. Let's go. Let's get it. I'll probably do the other fish off screen and uh, on my stream or something like that. Because I don't feel like wasting time on recording. But, yo, let's get it. Look at all these bells we got. I got I got to go back and grab my uh, stuff in my inventory. So, I'm actually go back this way. The waterfalls are being loud. That was insane, yo. CJ came to our island. We did the sea sport challenge. That's so, dope. Oh, new bug I can catch. And I don't have my net on me. Are you serious? Bruh, I saw two nice bugs I can catch for Flick when he eventually comes. But, no, he's not here. He's not here. Half a million bells, yo. About half a million bells. Love to see it. Actually, I'll grab the other fish while I'm here. But I'm going to pick up my tools first. Have everything just nice and neat in my inventory. The tools come first. And then we'll pick up the rest of the material. So we'll go there, there, there. I want to make some more hedges. So I actually want to grab my weeds and my, uh, my, what's it called? What is it? Weeds and, uh, sticks? Is that what it takes? Weeds, sticks, and stones. So we might actually have to farm everything else. Let's grab that, that. And is that everything I dropped? And this. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'll grab the other fish right now. I will grab the other fish and I'll take out weeds and the other things out of my inventory just to have them and be able to build the hedges after we go sell the last of the fish to CJ, even though I just said I didn't want to, but now I kind of want to. Look at all them bells, bro. Look at all them bells. Come here, fishies. We got some beta fish too, so about 5,000 each for these fish. It's uh, 4,500 for each red snapper and then the beta fish are going to be about 4,000. So that's not bad. That's not bad, but yo, check out them scorpions. Yo. Scorpions are a nice uh, change of pace instead of the tarantulas. Like scorpions, I just feel like are cooler. But tarantulas always have that special place in my heart, you know? You know, you know what I'm saying? No, we forgot the weeds! We forgot the weeds and the, the stone and the branches. So I'll grab a full stack of all that. Come here. I'm coming back. I'm coming in back in the house. Now, also, I can't wait to start working on my house. Like, once I figure out exactly what I want for my house, then we're just going to design the front yard and everything and do a bunch of stuff on the inside as well. Uh, come here. Let's go into here. It should be in others, right? Yeah. Clumps of weeds. And then I want it stone and branches. Oh, dude, we got tons of stacks of these. I gotta start farming my, what's it called, more, my, uh, my wood. I haven't hit wood in a while, because I've been, I racked it up early on in the game. I kind of just had it sit there, but I haven't really used it too, too much. That's not bad at all. Let's go. CJ, I'm coming one more time. Wait for me, buddy. I'm coming. Why has he got to be all the way across the way? Like, he is on the total opposite way of my island. It's so whack. It is so whack. But, yo, where's my boy? Where's my boy at? I can't wait for those flowers to grow and there's trees in the ravines. It's gonna look, ooh, it's gonna look so nice. It's gonna look, it's gonna look a beautiful. It's gonna look a beautiful for a jeans. I'm gonna have the best ravine in the online gaming community, baby. Online gaming community, baby. All right, come here. 
Come here. Come here, Nuck Nuck. What's up? And you can also give him three of the same fish. Uh, and you can make, like, a, I guess, like, a, a stuffed fish or something like that. Make a sculpture of one, which is pretty dope. But let's see how much we get for just, just this little batch right here. I'm going to say probably 50,000. Right? No way, 100. That will be insane. Maybe 50? Let's see what we got. Oh, you got a whole school for me. There you go. All together, that'll be 52,000 bells. So about half a million bells in fish today. That is phenomenal. Let's go, yo. I've been waiting for my dude. And like I said, I only grinded for like the, the first week. I didn't grind for the second week. So we definitely could have hit a million. My plan is next time when Foot comes to my island is to have a million bells worth of bugs. A million bells worth of bugs. That would be dope. That would be dope. Well, let's go head down here. I have all the materials to build uh, edges and all that good stuff. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to build some uh, hedges. Oh, no, that is not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. I kind of want to redecorate the front of my island. Or at least start doing something. Like, I kind of have ideas. Like, maybe change it to dirt path. I kind of like this, where this house is at. I feel like that house looks pretty cool. I really do like that waterfall as well. But I kind of want to change up something just a little bit. But first and foremost, let's put this money away. I need to put this money away in the bank because it's just taking up space. I have, like, four slots that it's just taking up on. And I want to craft the hedges while I'm here as well. Let's get it, yo. CJ up and coming here. Yo, uh, ABD. The next person I want on my island is red. Like I said in the beginning, we haven't really got too much red action. So let me just uh, deposit uh, 400. 400,000. And we are back in the millions. Yay. We are back in the millions. Once the turnip sells, I'll be able to uh, pay off my loan. All that good stuff. And then be able to probably buy more terms with the leftover money. So let's go here. Sign off. Means signing off of my little ATM. And what's in my M3? Oh my God. It's a mess. It's a mess. And now it's just extra stone and all that. That'll probably go away when I build all the hedges. The hedgeelies. Let's craft. Ban it, ban it. Where are my hedges at? Hedges? Where are you at? Hedges? There they are. Hedges are where it's at. Like, when they first, like, when I first got them, I was like, bro, this is a game changer. Like, the shrubs and the hedges were such a game changer to Animal Crossing. Like, they are so cool. I'm gonna make three sacks of them. Just have 30 of them. Plus, that is all I can make. Next time I go on a Nook Mile trip, I'm going to have to collect some more weeds. Because there's not a lot of weeds around on my island. I didn't realize you don't need that much sticks. It's only two sticks. But it's all weeds. It is legit all weeds. Okay. So, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do jeans want to do? Okay. So, I'm trying to think. Should I move a house? I kind of want to move this house right here. Kind of open that up a little bit. But, yo, they're jamming. Oh, heck yeah. Get it. Yeah. Uh, Annabelle's all like, I don't even know what that emotion is, but is that a bug that I need or is that a tiger? That's a tiger. That's a tiger. This is where I want my rocks at. Uh, I might want to move that house very, very soon, but I don't know if I should change these paths to like something else. I kind of like this fun area though. I'm thinking I should change this path to maybe, uh, or should I keep it stone? I could definitely keep it stone and kind of have like hedges around a lot of things because hedges are dope. Like hedges are dope. I don't know if I just want to lay out hedges everywhere and all around. Hmm. I kind of want to build a pond here. I feel like that can look dope. A pond, yeah. I don't have a... Mm, I can't take out trees right now. And the other thing. Hmm. I'm just trying to think. I'm just trying to think real quick. I think we got to move a house. I think we definitely got to start moving a house in order for me to start doing that. So let's go talk to Tommy Nook. I do have money left over. So this is Axel's house. I'm going to just move Axel's house out the way. And just throw it till to get gone, kid. Well, I might actually move it over to the right side and just see if I can find a nice spot for it because I really like where Rattle's house is at. I really do like where Rattle's house is at. Maybe I can actually start working right there. To be honest. Maybe I can start working right where Rattle's house is at because I can build a fence around it. Something cool like that. Build a path up to it. But I'm thinking of changing the path to dirt. I feel like dirt can look uh, really, really nice. How can I help you, yo? Um, Let's talk infrastructure, big dog. Let's talk infrastructure. Let's chat. There's a number of things we can discuss about. But what did you have in mind? Okay, we want to... uh. Layout changes. That's what we want. we want. We want a nice layout changes. Which building did you want to move? Um, an island home. And who should we talk about? We want to talk about Axel. I wish when it popped up, it showed you exactly what house it was, because I hopefully I don't talk on the wrong house. Five hundred thousand bells for Axel's house. Fine, fine. We gotta get out of here. Get it gone, kid. Boop boop boop. <laughs> I love how I love how he picks his phone. Just boop boop boop. Axel, what's up? I hate how we have to talk to him. Like, dude, I run the island. I can kick him off at any time I want. He's not mine at all. He just wants to start lifting. Wonk. Look at Annabelle. That's how she does. Whap, 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 whap. <laughs> this game's too good. This game is too good, guys. Seriously, seriously, if you guys do not have Animal Crossing, what are you guys doing? Go pick that game up. Get playing with it. You guys will fall in love. I promise. I promise you guys, you will fall in love with this game. Okay, so we're going to move Axel's house. 
right now just so I can have it out the way for today and then tomorrow I can start working on it or working on my land right here but I do want to hmm, do want to start placing like hedges like I bought these hedges like I have ideas but then I don't know what to do with them um Axel's house where's Axel's house gonna go I kind of want it right there like that's a good spot I could move it hmm. I think I'll just move it out the way this way for right now for right now hello paper kite butterfly hello paper kite butterfly and I want to get rid of that tree, to be honest. I could move it right there. I think this house is in a bad spot. You could get rid of rocks and all that. Oh my gosh, just a mess over here. No, I'm just throwing it here. I'm just throwing it here. You know what? Screw it. When I want to move it, I will move it. Build here. Yes, this is fine. <laughs> this is the spot. I don't care about it right now. Like I said, I like to work on one thing at a time and just move things out of the way. Just keep moving. Making other places ugly, but other places good until I eventually have everything that I want. But yeah, I'm thinking a pond right here could be nice. And then this thing could actually create a path to go around. I'm liking the dirt. We're going to switch this to dirt. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch this to dirt real quick. Let's bring out my island designer. We got some Nook Miles done. And the waterfall is really loud, but I always love the waterfall. I think it looks so cool. Let's start some construction. So also what I want to do is probably... I, don't need, I actually got to find out a good spot for this. Is I want to make a garden somewhere. I want to make a nice, beautiful garden. I'm thinking maybe up in the top corner. Top right corner where the outdoor gym is at. I think I can make a garden, but dirt paths are where it's at. I feel like dirt paths always look good. I think I gotta paint these out to grass now. Oh no, I can just keep slap. I can just slap straight on top of them. But yeah, I feel like dirt paths are gonna be nice for uh, walking paths, and then for the other paths such as uh, like the the courtyard, like the main area right here, and the shopping center. Then stone is going to look better. But other than that, I feel like uh, for walking dirt is really, really gonna be where it's at. It's gonna be the, the bee's knees. You know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm saying? But I can actually craft different hedges all around everything. Like all around the pass. I think that can look actually nice as well. But I'm a big fan of this fountain. Maybe I might make it bigger. Not this fountain, this little waterfall. Because it's something that, like, once you walk in there, that is, like, the first thing you see. I'm going I'm to go up here. I'm going to lead this to the boy's house right here. A little bit of rattles. Because I feel like this is actually a good spot for a house. Not even going to lie. So I'll make it here. Then I'll craft right there. Then I'll just have that there. Just like that. But yeah. We're going to have to put fences around this area. I kind of want to have like a little grill in that area. I want to have this path go out to the right and straight up. So I'm going to just place it one more until I can destroy that tree and rock. But there we go. There's that. There's that. So make that path and let's get slapping up here. I wonder how this is going to blend in when it switches over to the courtyard. Actually, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep this straight and I'm going to bend those paths right there. And I can. So let's just keep going this way. Come on, yo. Paint that. I can't paint that? What do you mean I can't paint right there? I wait, bruh. You know, come here. Stupid sign. You lost your privileges. He's going back there now. <laughs> Where is it? This is the destination signpost. There. You know, you go, you go right there now. I'll fix you later. I'll fix you later. You're giving me a tough time today, little sign. I'm not dealing with you, big dog. I'm not dealing with you. Yeah, let's cut that. And then yeah, I'll probably corner off that little section right there. Yeah, I just feel like dirt paths are so much better to walk on. I don't, I don't know why. I just feel that way. There we go. Let's keep crafting this out. Grabbing this one out. And I definitely want to build my pond. I definitely want to build my pond. This little pond here. <laughs> Look at Axel walking all slow. It's like, yo, you move my house, little boy. I'm not talking to you. He's always in my way. Yo, get out of here, kid. Get out of here, kid. I'll start here until you pass on. <laughs> He's not having a good day. I'll talk to him later. Not dealing with him today. Go here. But yeah, I feel like a pond right here could be nice. Maybe. Do I build a waterfall into a pond? But I, I feel like I just have a little pond just right out in the center. I don't know if I should make it heart shaped. That could be pretty dope. Or like a sun, moon kind of looking thing. I definitely want it to have a cool design. But I don't know what I want to do it with. But definitely a little bit of pond there. We can have shrubs and stuff just flowing around it. It can, it can look dope. I got some new holly start shrubs. They're dope. So let's just go here. I might destroy that other path until I figure out what's going on. But I'm going to build up a little bit. This could be nice. I can have the path split. And have something in here and then something else on the outside or to the left and right then have it this lead to houses like axel's house or something but dude i cannot wait to get all the rocks exactly where i want it like that's gonna be awesome i'll actually finish off this path because i'm almost done I'm almost done just uh changing all the stone into dirt i always think it's gonna take longer but it never does it never takes too too long that's wonderful slap that up built and then slap this one up built Slap that one up yeet and last one yeet okay so there's that there is that. So, do I want to go create a stone axe? I might as well while I'm right here. I'm going to create a stone axe. Destroy them trees right there. 
And then I feel like I, I like, I'm not sure. I think I might actually do this right now to see how it looks. I want to put, like I said, hedges in between the paths so you can walk that way. But then sometimes I feel like that's just too much. Sometimes I feel like that's just too much. But we'll see in a little bit. But let's crafty. Let's get crafting, boys. Let's go. Ba -ba -bum. Where is that I want to craft? I want to craft this, the axe. Where are my axes at, right? Nope. Craft that. We have plenty of stone and plenty of branches right now. Clumsy axe. I love how Tom Nook has a poster of himself on the wall. Like, imagine walking into your room and just having a poster of yourself on the wall. <laughs> That's such a Tom Nook thing, yo. Like, I'm gonna just put a poster of myself up there. Like, bro, yo, get out of my face. Like, you know, like, how weird that would be if you walked in your room and you just had a poster of yourself in the room. Like, get out of here, kid. Get out of here. <laughs> that would be so funny. But here we go. We're here. Let's bring out my axe. Where's it at? I gotta go into my actual inventory. We're gonna slap up on these trees, yo. What tree wants it? You're gonna get it. Yeet. Run, no. No, run. Run. All right, uh, I need to get away from these bees. They got me. They got me red handed. God dang it. I didn't get a good enough uh, run. I hit something on the way. I hit something on the way, and the bees got me. But good thing you can't notice. I got the glasses on, though. I got them glasses on, though. Of course, the one tree I hit, the one tree I hit has the bees in it, has the wasp in it. Like, what you mean? Let's go. Let's run. Now I got the axe. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a blue bottle? That's a blue bottle. What's that? Oh, a double blue bottle. They stink. Blue bottle stink. I thought I saw a good old, uh, a good, what's it called? A good butterfly. Imagine if that one had wasp in it. I'd be like, bro, seriously, just stop. Eat, eat. Oh, we only need three times or twice there. One, two, three. Give me the shovel. Give me my shovel out here. I ain't playing around. Hit this up. Um, I feel like I might start upon Julia. What's good? I actually want to talk to you. I love Julia. She's so sick. Julia. Oh, 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 dear. What on earth is wrong with your face, darling? Wasp, I presume. You should really be more careful to ruin that da darling complexion of yours. I know that. I know that. I heard if you uh, become friendly enough with your villagers, eventually when you just get stung by a wasp. Oh, Julia. I should have caught that. Eventually, when you uh get more friendly with your uh, villagers, when you get stung by wasps, they'll just straight up just hand you medicine right there on the spot. Did I? Oh, I think that was a new bug. I think that was a new stump bug. Dang it! I should have. I should have kept the stumps. But let's pull out my little bit of a uh, my water skin permit. Let's just uh, let's let's start building a little uh, pond here. Cause I feel like a little pond can look pretty dope here. I don't know what shape I want to do, but for right now, I'm just gonna craft out a square here. Oh, I do not want to fill that in. Get out of me! Get out of my face, dude. E, e. There we go. Do that. I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm just going to craft out a little square just to know that there's going to be a pond. Here. Just to start designing. Yeah, dude, my dude's been singing today. Rattle and, and Annabelle. Even though Rattle's got the Rona coronavirus, he's not. He's still having a good day. Did I, that's, that, that's the last thing I want to do. Let's do that. Get out of my face. Get something up. Why, why is that? There you go. That's what I want. Slap, slap. Slap, slap. Get it, baby. Get it. I like how Axel doesn't have that thought bubble over his head anymore. Like, he, he figured out his problems. He's like, oh, you just moved my house. <laughs> and then I can slap this one up one more. Turn that one off. No! Stop it. This game. Always toying with me. Always toying with me. Slap, slap. And then uh, one more slap here. Yes, sir. Okay, there we go. I got that corner there. And I'll build this out a little bit more. But the real question is, my real question that I want to know is whether I should place the hedges there. I'll actually probably stream this game today, to be honest, and I can figure out everything there. But still, I'm going to start placing them before we end off this video, after I slap up on all this little river, make a pond here. I definitely want to make like, a cool design pond, but I just don't know what to do with it. Maybe throw some hedges, some trees around it, just make everything look dandy. But that is not what I want to do. I'll just actually finish off this right here, one last slap, we got it. And then I want to pull out my hedges real quick, and I hear a balloon. I have no idea where. Let me pull out my hedges and just see how that would look. If I pull out my, uh, where are my hedges at? Right here, I have 37 hedges. If I pull out my hedges here, should I start placing all around here? And maybe have an opening to this pond? I don't like that. But a little bit. I'm gonna actually open this one up. I'm actually gonna throw this. And I'm gonna go here and have an opening to the pond. I think that might be able to look pretty nice. And actually uh, make that pond go one more. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna do that to be honest. I feel like this could look very very nice and add some uh, a lot of uh, decoration to our island. I 100% think that can look very very nice. 
Let's actually open up that. Mm, no, 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 no. I actually want to open up that pond one more. Sl um, I actually might have to, uh, to close it one more. Because I want to be able to, for us to walk around it. For us to walk around it, that can look nice. But, but right now, I feel like that can look amazing. But I cannot have it on this side. And that's fine, that's fine. But right now, that's just chilling. I kind of want to place it on this side, maybe. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. But I want this uh, path to split, to be honest with you guys. I do want this path to split. So maybe I can throw one here, here. And then throw this one this way. Or that crossover. But then I wouldn't want one. Okay, never mind. I'll figure that out. I will figure that out later. But yeah, I feel like that can look very, very nice. Let me go back to my water skating permit. And see what I can do with this. I can actually dig right here. But I want, like I said, I want to be able to walk around. Or do I just take that off and have that open just like that? Yeah, having it open just like that makes it look a little bit better. But I, I just need to get a design. I just need to get a design in order to figure out what I want to do with my pond. Because I might want to have some bushes and shrubs around it. I feel like that can look nice. But this thing has three. I'm waiting for this to move in order for that, in order for me to make uh, something cool looking. I definitely want to have this path lurk around, go up there, and bang. Done there. And I'm probably going to place uh, shrubs and stuff around here. Just, just something to make it look very, very cool. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to hope to get red on our island and complete, or not complete, and keep decorating our front of our island. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.